Merry Christmas, comrades. Yes, it's Christmas morning, 2011. I'm out here at the range, my Russian Nagant. And I'd like to take a moment to wish a Merry Christmas to everybody, all my subscribers, people that watch YouTube, and to Scott and his family up there in Canada. Merry Christmas to everyone. Now I'm making this video basically as a Christmas thing and as a video response to the question of uh, the Nagant sights. Now when I fired this gun the other day, uh, I noticed that the rear sight was bumped back a little and so I, or bumped up a little. I don't know what it's graduated in, it's numbers, yards, meters, cubits, stride of a reindeer, who knows. But yeah, it was, it must have got tweaked up a notch or two on there. So, uh, I brought it out today. I have to test the gun that I'm working on. So I brought this out, chance to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and uh, see, answer the question, if this rear thing is run all the way back, mine was up a little, how does it shoot at 100 yards? Now that's about the only adjustment here on the rear sight. The front sight you can drift and there's a pin in there. Now to change that pin you have to drift the sight off, I guess drive it out or something. So uh, I'm not quite too sure about adjusting the, the height of the front sight if there's a lot of aftermarket stuff for these guns. And uh, you can get these guns for, I think I paid a little more than $100 for this because it's a nice hex receiver with a 1930 date on it. The round receiver war production ones, which are a little bit rougher and finish, you can get for about $100 with all the accessories. So, uh, I haven't had much experience with this rifle, but since they're cheap and available and a lot of people are interested in them, I just may buy a few more over the coming year and uh, work with them, work on reloads, work with shooting military ammo, and uh, kind of get the idea of the sights, how to adjust them. I know you can buy little devices that will drift the sights on these, um, but we're going to give it a whirl, pop a few rounds off at 100 yards, and see what you know if we. Now that we adjusted the sight right, see if we shoot point of aim at 100 yards. Kind of answer that question. So the big deal is, is it a battle sight set for 300 yards or something? And my experience with the Mausers and that, a lot of these rifles, it's not the case. They shoot fairly well at 100 yards. So, I was shooting a little high because, like I said, this was bumped up a little. We'll give it a shot and see where we are now. Let me go check through the spotting scope and see what I got. Looks like it was right on the money. Now the ammunition I have, interesting story with that. Uh, the current ammo everyone's getting is this silver tipped ammo. Let me try to get in here closer. Like I said, the silver tipped ammunition is what everyone has. And a few years ago, those Polish carbines, like I said, the guy sold them at the Legion. Well, one guy I knew fired them, and he fired up the 20 rounds he bought with the gun. He asked me to get him some ammo. And I went to a gun show, and I bought this ammo. It has like a yellowish gold or mustard tip on there. I, I'm not sure what this ammo is. We'll fire some of this too today. Um, and when I received that gun back from that fellow, that carbine, he... Uh, had some of that ammo I bought. I don't know what type of ammo the guy selling the rifles had or what he was selling. And it, it varies by what comes in, you know, from what country. And, but 
I'll make a video later today. I'll pull apart these two cartridges and weigh the bullets, and that way I'll know for sure. Um, I'm sure a lot of people know where the ammo comes from and that, but just to get an idea, see what the military load is, and then, uh, you know, probably later on this year, since surplus ammo is cheap, a lot of people won't reload. But, I mean, you can sit out here and shoot 100 rounds relatively, you know, you can buy 400 rounds for what a set of dies cost and you get tooled up to, to reload. And if you're getting good results, why bother? But we'll see what the accuracy is with the military. And it, like I said, I'll accumulate a few guns, slug the bores, see what's going on, and see if I can work up a, find a combination of bullet and that to get a fairly accurate load out of these guns. Check the spotting scope, maybe we'll take a walk down and look at the target. Okay, to give you an idea, I'm aiming down around in here and hitting up here at 100 yards. So it is shooting a tad high uh, with that ammo. Now I'm going to try some of the different ammo and see if there's a difference in the point of impact. So I can say that it looks like it's shooting a tad high. Sights are set high. And maybe again, like I said, if I put the bayonet on there, it'll drop it down a few inches. I may have to make a, another video, but then again, that's what we do. I'll go take a look through the scope. Okay, looks like shot even higher, same results. Aiming for the center, hitting all up in here on the very edge. It looked like it was riddling the top, so everyone might be shooting higher. So I know it's on the paper with the silver tip. So I'm gonna try to pop off five more. Readjusting, I'm more or less aim center line to the bottom here and see where we hit.
key. All right. Here's what we got going. All right. That's where we're hitting up in here when aiming here. That one dropped in, I don't know how, from somewhere. And the last five I shot, aiming at the very bottom, hit here, 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 and here. So it is shooting. Rough estimate, six inches high at 100 yards, which isn't terrible. It's not uh, two feet or something. Six inches high at 100 yards. So maybe filing the front sight a tad might be a solution or see if I can drive it down farther. But yeah, it does shoot a bit high and uh, the carbine shoots a bit low. So just some more stuff to work on. Ammunition's cheap, so we can shoot the hell out of this gun, not go bankrupt. Now maybe the uh, adding the bayonet will lower it. I don't know. But that's another video. Alright, Merry Christmas. Take it easy.